What is going on everybody and welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video, what I've got for you is some confirmed ratings for a few different teams. In this team, you'll see Barcelona, Liverpool, Man United, Real Madrid, among a couple others as well. So I thought we'd dive straight into it. These are all from the uh, the capture event. These are all from people releasing screenshots and footage of the capture event. So they're all confirmed and they're all real. Now, changes might happen. Maybe one or two up or down might happen between now and the full game release. Sometimes EA tweak ever so slightly with the capture event ratings. However, you can pretty much bank your heart on 99 of these being correct now i did post a ratings leak video on my second channel if you didn't see that go and check that out there's a link to my second channel in the description down below it did exceptionally well so thank you for the support on that video now let's just jump straight into it now we're going to start with sadio mane's card now he has got an 86 rated card with and these are his in-game stats he's got 82 shot power 87 dribbling and 84 finishing as far as i can see uh and then i think these are his uh his pace stats now he's only got 67 in-game strength on this now of course this is kickoff so sometimes kickoff stats change ever so slightly the ratings don't usually change however the uh the in-game stats change ever so slightly between this and ultimate team so you may see one or two stats changed between now and the early access release in in two weeks today holy crap 13 days it's 13 days today 13 days i'm sorry i just got super excited uh but you may see some stats change now uh if we move on just want to apologize in advance for the poor quality on the screenshot now this screenshot i'm guessing was taken when it wasn't being hovered over so it's a little bit dark however you can see like we've got 91 to hair 82, 82 valencia 82 rated are you kidding me I can't believe he's been doing it, given a downgrade there. 81 Smalling, 80 Jones, 80 Young, 86 Matic, which is I'm very excited about. 80, 88 Pogba, 82 Fred, 82 Lingard, 87 Lukaku, and 87 Sanchez. Now, interestingly enough, the leaked Ultimate Team screenshots had Sanchez an 88 rated. So, uh, we'll see, I think, tomorrow whether he's an 87 or an 88 uh, when the ratings get released tomorrow. But that's pretty interesting in my opinion. Uh, but that's pretty exciting. I think that overall, they're pretty fair. Surprised Valencia got a downgrade, yeah, Ashley Young got an upgrade. That kind of surprised me a little bit. Now, if you're wondering why that surprised me, is because although yes, Valencia, it, it, like, uh, sorry, although yes, Young is absolutely phenomenal. Like, he's a great player in my opinion. I don't think he warrants an 80 rated card, and I don't think Valencia warranted that downgrade. I thought he played pretty well last season, but uh, that's pretty interesting. Lingard outright as well. Uh, he's been playing a lot of camp for United, so outright's interesting. Uh, I'd love to see what the bench is like. I'd love to see the bench and reserves. We may see more screenshots soon, so uh, stay tuned on Twitter because I will be tweeting a bunch of different screenshots if we see them. Uh, so make sure you follow me on Twitter. But all in all, I think that's pretty fair. I think Matic finally getting the upgrade he deserves is pretty fair as well. So uh, let's move on to the next one. Now, this was a stream from the Catcher event. I have no idea who those two guys are. I think they are German YouTubers, and I apologize. I just don't know who they are. Um, and it's not like me trying to be all arrogant or anything. I just genuinely don't. Uh, I just don't follow German YouTube. However, these are Real Madrid and Bayern Munich ratings. So we've got Kaylor Navas at 87 rated, 88 Marcelo, 91 Ramos, 86 Varane, and 84 Carvajal. 88 Casemiro, 90 Cruz, 91 Modric, 88 Bale, 84 Benzema, and 89 Isco. That's pretty crazy. And then Asensio, uh, like, down at the bench with their 85 rated card. We've got uh, 83 Vasquez. And then over on the left, we've got 90 Neuer, 86 Boateng, which matches with uh, the racing we've seen, as well as 85 Kimmich and 85 uh, Robben. We, we've we've already seen those ratings, so it kind of matches. Same with Alaba. Um, and then we've got 86 Thiago, which we've already seen. Um, and then we've got uh, 83 Goretzka, 88 uh, James Rodriguez, 90 Lewandowski, which is interesting because on the leaked ratings, Lewandowski was 90 one rated so that's another one that would be pretty interesting that we've got ribbery um and then on the bench we've got uh thomas muller 86 rated of course we saw that uh coman 83 rated that's interesting martinez 84 rated wagner 78 rated that's pretty interesting um I think all in all, those stats are pretty fair. 91 Ramos seems a little bit high. Uh, Bale, 88, I think, you know, he definitely warrants. I think that's an upgrade for him. Um, I hope that's an upgrade for him. I think he, he warrants an upgrade. Uh, he, I thought he played... I mean, he didn't play a whole lot. He, he got a downgrade. Wow. He didn't play a whole lot, but when he did play, he played well, in my opinion. So, uh, I thought he warranted an upgrade. However, maybe not. Maybe not. That's interesting. However, the rest of the stats seem pretty good. Uh, they seem interesting, so... 
you know, I'm quite happy with the rest of the stats. 89 Isco seems incredible. I can't wait to see that card and the rest of his stats. So uh, let's move on to the next one. The next one's actually a full Liverpool team. So we've got 88 Salah, which matches the uh, the leaked ratings. 85 Fabinho, which matches, of course, the ratings we've already seen. Uh, 85 Alisson, 85 Van Dijk also matches the ratings we've already seen. Same with Firmino. Not 86 uh, Mane. Um, and then we've got 78 rated Trent Alexander-Arnold. That seems a little bit low for me. Uh, 81 Lovren. Uh, 81 Robertson. 83 Cater also seems a little bit low for me. I'm surprised Kata didn't get an upgrade. 82 Henderson. And then on the bench, we've got 81 Shakiri, 80 Sturridge. 80 Sturridge seems a bit high for me as well. Okay. Uh, 82 Wijnaldum and 81 Milner. Pretty interesting. I mean, they're obviously Liverpool are like such a solid side. So uh, I'd be very interested to see what their in-game stats are, etc. Uh, but they, that side just looks sick. I can't wait. I really want to use this Van Dijk card. I, I don't think I'm the only one either. So... Uh, so I think I will be using that card day one. 81 Robertson, that's pretty interesting as well. I think I predicted him an 80 rated card. So 81 is pretty similar to my prediction. Uh, but let's move on to the next one. I'm actually super excited for the next one. The next one is FC Barcelona, dude. I'm so excited for this one. 89 rated to Stegen. Is, that's wild. 87 rated in Titty as well mental obviously 94 Messi. that's that that goes hand in hand with the uh with the leak we've seen as well as uh, a 91 suarez that goes hand in hand with the link we've seen 85 vidal we've already seen that vidal card in the uh in the top 100 ratings 87 rakitic 88 busquets 87 uh, alaba 88 coutinho 91 suarez 87 pk 84 sergio roberto and then 83 malcolm 82 dembele 82 Arthur, that's interesting, and 79 Alcacer. Dude, that on Titty card, like 87 rated, that is going to be such a mental card. Partner in with Varane, get Lloris in goal, someone like that. That'll be phenomenal. I'm super excited for that. Um, I, I'm surprised we didn't see what Courtois waiting was as well. That's interesting. Uh, but the, that team looks unbelievable. That rating, the team's ratings just look, they look unbelievable. I think that they actually are quite fair. Um, the rest of them anyway. Uh, obviously, Vidal's pace is... I don't think Vidal's pace is fair. To get like a minus 18 or something like that on your pace is definitely unwarranted, especially in the space of a year. I don't understand how someone's legs can fall off so quickly. However, the rest of these cards, they look phenomenal. They look great. And I, I just... I'm very, very... Uh, very pleased that there's going to be some very fresh looking cards in the game. Now, of course, if you missed the 80 to 61 ratings, we have got Nine Golden who actually got a downgrade. Although that card looks fantastic. I don't understand why he got a downgrade. That card looks unbelievable still. And definitely a card I'll be using this year. Uh, then we've got Alexandro whose card looks amazing. Again, like... There seems to be a lack of good left backs this year. So, Alexandro is going to be used so much this year, I feel like. And Alba, Jordi Alba, will be used a lot as well. Um, that card looks phenomenal. That card looks great. Maybe a little bit more pace will be nice. But apart from that, that card looks fantastic. Stick a shadow card on that card. It'll be fantastic. Next up, we've got Benasha, who also looks amazing. The Cal Show, so it's Syria. It's going to be absolutely fantastic this year. I'm so excited for it. Uh, it's going to be um, an amazing, amazing league. Now, we've got Parejo, who's got 47 pace. Now, I have no idea about Parejo's pace in FIFA 18. Let me actually have a look at it real quick. Uh, but he's another one that's had a pace downgrade. What's he had? So, he, he's lost seven pace. Did he, did he warrant losing 7 pace? I don't know. I just Everyone's getting a, a pace downgrade. Let me know what you think about that down below. Uh, then we've got the main Matic, which obviously concurs with the uh, the leak. And, of course, the main United range we've just seen. That card looks great. I'm so excited for that card as a main United fan. Like, I cannot wait. I'll be using Matic in most of my squads. Stick a Shadow card on him and it will be fantastic. Or even stick a uh, Catalyst card on him. A Catalyst will be even better. Dude, I'm so excited for that card. Then we've got Douglas Costa, who looks unbelievable. He looks so good. 86 rated, 5-star skill moves, 95 pace, 91 dribbling, 81 passing, 75 shooting, which seems a little bit low. However, dude, put him on that left flank, and he is going to bomb it down the wing, cross it in, shoot cross body, skill move inwards. He is going to be an absolutely fantastic card, and I'm so excited. He's obviously going to get a link to Cristiano Ronaldo, and I think Ronaldo going to Juventus has genuinely boosted up all the Juve cards by about two ratings. It's nuts. Uh, moving on, though, we've got Cesar Azpilicueta, who looks phenomenal as well. That card looks sick. That card will be very, very much used in the Premier League. That card looks very good. Uh, then we have got Naldo. 86 rated for Naldo. 87 defending. 74 physical seems a little bit low for him. Um, 69 shooting. 63 pa uh, pace. 64 passing. 62 dribbling. 
he's kind of underwhelming. I think they've done him a little bit dirty with his uh, with his physical and his shooting, definitely. Uh, I think he definitely deserves a higher physical and a higher shooting. But un like, like put that aside, and it's still a six foot six, eighty six rated centre back. So I can't I can't deny that. Then we've got Fernandinho, who looks like a pretty good card. Again, another pace downgrade. I don't understand why Fernandinho's had a pace downgrade. Uh, I want to see what his pace downgrade is. Uh, if I go to Fernandinho and I go for someone that got a team of the season card this year, I keep doesn't and and an upgrade card. Why is he add minus six pace? Why it doesn't make any sense to me. In fact, looking at this card, he's actually had a couple of downgrades. He's had a downgrade in physical. He's had a downgrade in passing. And his uh, shooting stayed the same. He's an upgrade in dri uh, dribbling. That doesn't seem like... It doesn't make a lot of sense to me. However, I don't want to get into like a debate about it all. But we've got Pjanic here as well. A decent looking card, of course. Pjanic is always a good looking card. Um, then we've got Leroy Sane, which concurs with the leak that we saw uh, yesterday on the second channel. Um... If you want to go see that, of course, link down below. Um, but that card looks fantastic as well. Finally, four-star skill moves too. I don't know if he had four-star last year or if he got an upgrade to four-star last year. However, last year at the start, he definitely didn't have four-star and I was very upset about it. Now he's finally got four-star skill moves. Dude, I'm excited to use that card in FIFA 19. Dude, that, that will be such a used card. Then we've got Bonucci with a two downgrade. Interesting. Uh, still a solid looking card. Uh, probably used quite a bit, I'm guessing. Uh, low high work rates. Not the best of pace, but you stick like a catalyst or a... Something like that on him. Get him a pace upgrade and it'll be good. Then we've got Boateng, a minus two downgrade as well. Still a solid looking centre back without a shadow of a doubt. And I will probably use him. Then we've got Thomas Muller with, I think, just staying the same. I think he was 86 last year as well. Decent looking card though. They've upped his stats, I think. I feel like they've upped his stats a little bit. So it's not horrendous looking anymore. Um, then we have got Edison, which concurs with the leak that we saw. Decent looking card. Very good looking goalkeeper. Uh, great stats as well. Those stats look fantastic. So uh, he'll be interesting to use next year. Then we have got Firmino. Um, not gonna lie, that card looks kind of underwhelming. That card for an 86 looks very underwhelming. I think they've done Firmino a bit dirty. Should have upped pace, probably up dribbling, probably an upped physical as well. I think they're doing a little bit dirty with that card there. Then we've got uh, Verratti, who just seems to be the same every year. Surprised he's had a bit of a downgrade as well as a defending downgrade. However, he just seems to get like the similar card every single year. Just seems to be like a high-rated SBC cannon kind of card, really. Um, and then we have got Otamendi, which also concurs with the leak. Uh, okay looking card. Probably want to get a catalyst or a shadow on that card. Get his uh, pace up a little bit. Uh, and then we've got Thiago, which uh, obviously concurs with the ratings we just saw. Decent looking card. Obviously, he's always going to have like five-star skills and great dribbling. Um, probably could have upped his uh, all-round stats a little bit. Well, he's had a minus two downgrade, so obviously they wouldn't up it that much. Uh, and then we've got Ozil, of course, getting a minus two downgrade. Is it, oh, no, minus three downgrade. Ozil's been done dirty. I mean, actually, he's kind of had it coming to him. But uh, but yeah, those are the ratings. They're the official ones as well as the leaked or slash released ones for FIFA 19. If you guys did enjoy this video, leave a like down below. Subscribe if you're new around here. And I'll see you later.